All right, we're headed out. The wind is saying 12 knots, but we are going like four. Um, since we're still close to the island, we're still a bit protected from the wind. So I have the engine on still and it's charging my battery. So um, there's a big cold front, like 25, 35 knots of wind on the 13th. So I'm trying to make it there before then, which I should. But autopilot's working. As I said, that issue with the hydrovane, I probably won't be able to use it. So I wasn't gonna leave unless autopilot was working and it's working pretty good. So hopefully we get some wind soon and I'll turn off the engine. But it always feels good once you're moving again. But I am on pretty high alert right now because there's a lot of boat traffic. Downside of cruising during cruising season. Oh, and Mako's not happy. Mako! not working it was like swerving 50 degrees to the starboard and just wouldn't stop and but then it like cold heading us now I'm meeting 15 miles into the wind to go into Karaku for the night I just did a sea trial the wizard thing and for the first 10 seconds I put autopilot back on it worked but then it stops working again so I put out the sail again and so um Good morning from day two. It's 7 a.m., 7.15. I said I was gonna leave at 7.30. Um, yeah, 7.08. I really don't know what to do. I've tightened every connection I took next to the sensor. I had a bucket of spare like brass pipes and like fittings. There's times I've had them in there and not had them in there and the autopilot hasn't worked with it in there and out there. But I took it out. I had three spare pumps, two shower pumps and one fresh water pump. I took those out. On the other side of the autopilot on the wall there's a air conditioning unit. From my search that's not supposed to affect it and it's been in there for ages. Like it's nothing new. Neither is my autopilot issue. But it's beautiful go out and mess with it a little bit see how it goes I have a little treat for you you have a beautiful view watching the anchor come up this way. the autopilot I moved everything out of the thing where it's at and it's still not working um, 
So I think the autopilot has gone back. I have tested everything and I reduced the sail area. I was maybe I had like 30% of the main out and the full jib out. So the wind's dying and I'm. Oh no, it kicked off. Um, so when I reduced the sa sail area, it was deviated 100 degrees and now it's deviating like 25 degrees. So we're improving, but I am going to need to get a new autopilot and then I'll have a hydrovane and an autopilot. video really begins and before I start getting a million negative comments telling me I shouldn't have done it I just want to say that I did evaluate every plan and I did not choose the safest option I know that there were a million options I had to choose from a million ways I could have gone and I chose this one please enjoy the sale it was definitely the hardest sale I have ever done mostly mentally, but the conditions weren't great either. I'm glad I got here safe and I'm glad I did it. It's something that not a lot of people will do um, with all the technology we have now. So with that being said, please enjoy the video. I appreciate you all. It's about 2 p.m. on day one, six to seven knots. 22 knots of wind. The autopilot is still just now it's still veering to the right a lot, so I still have the bungee. And then it will turn off every five to ten minutes. Mako's right here. Hey, Papa. I'm gonna be exhausted. Um, the faster I go, the sooner I get to sleep. Yep. 5pm and the wind died for like an hour to about 10 knots and it's picked back up to 20, 26 knots in between there and we are flying like consistent 8 knots and when I'm steering we're going 9 which is amazing but the boat is wanting to go upwind so much and I know I'm going to have to bring in some sail area to 
for autopilot to behave. It's so annoying. It's definitely like the autopilot just isn't working. Um, my boat can handle this easy. And the autopilot has handled this before. So it's pretty frustrating. But other than that, it's gonna be weird. This night sail is gonna be weird. Um, first time being completely alone for this long with no autopilot and no internet. So yeah, it's gonna feel weird. Um, but I am in contact with people and there's a cold front coming in, so I'm getting an update on that to get closer. But other than that, I need to figure out this autopilot and we were doing really good for a little bit. But she's wanting to go straight into the wind. She's flying. I wish the wind would go north a little bit. We'd go, we go in the right direction. But yeah, it's a little sporty out here now. The ocean has shaped my life. It fascinates me, but I always hold respect for its power. It has been one of my greatest teachers, and this sail was no exception. As the sun sank on the horizon, my confidence was also sinking. I had no idea how I was going to be capable of staying awake for three full days. 100 miles from land, no Starlink, and little functioning navigation equipment, I felt the most alone and helpless than I ever had. A small rain storm come through, so it killed our wind. And boom, it's not happy. Uh, I've been taking, I haven't taken a nap, but I've been able to lay down and close my eyes. It's midnight, and so it's gonna be in the hardest part 1 a.m. to 6 a.m., 6 7 a.m. is the hardest shift, no matter who, what you're doing, whatever many shifts you have with other people is the hardest. Aww. Can we go back in the ocean? I heard like, uh, like paper crackling and at the same time I started to smell fish. Like a fish had to smell in here. So, hopefully it didn't die. Do you want to smell my hand? It smells like fish. What is that? Pretty good, huh?
Winds are about uh, 25 knots this morning. Um, and the waves keep coming over the side, so I don't want to bring my camera out. Wave came in on the side and soaked everything. We're going about six and six, six and a half knots. There's two storms on both sides of me right now. Um, doing a lot of hand steering, a lot of adjusting. And we have 250 miles to go. So I'll keep you guys posted. Speak too soon. Had just picked up. Um, it's been pretty low, and the boat's been steering itself with some minimal bungees, no autopilot on it. Just steered itself for about an hour and a half, which is great. I got in a couple naps, and now the wind's back up, and we're about to moving a little bit faster. Not by much. pretty out here. Obviously not going to go in the bow. They're probably riding on the bow. It's rough. I'm really heavily reefed. Um, 27 to 30 knots of wind. We're going six knots. Um, I just have the wheel bungee. Oh, there they are. There's one. With microphone on, I still don't know if you're going to be able to hear me. <laughs>
morning from day three. Last night was really rough. Um, the waves kept coming over the side and soaked to Mako and I. I just took a shower. Um, I was a salty mess. And it's 9.30, I'm making coffee, Mako's hiding. It's still pretty rough. The cold front's supposed to, or the big blow's supposed to come through tonight. Um, I haven't heard of anything new. And I think we're gonna be um, arriving tomorrow early, early morning. Kind of hoping we arrive at daylight so I don't have to anchor in the dark and then move, but we'll see how it all goes. It's way too rough out there to bring the camera. So, but sunny skies, everything else is the same. Last night, I'm trying to hide the phone from the wind. I'm not bringing my camera. Um, winds are 30 knots. We're going five to seven, depending. I've been steering a lot, and I can kind of hold the boat in place for a little bit with the cables. So it's been a real big blessing that the boat is sailing how it should. Uh, my hatch has broken in my bedroom. So my bed is soaked. Um, other than that, knock on wood, nothing abnormal. 75 miles to go, ETA should be around sunrise. Kind of hope it's not earlier than that. I'm expecting more traffic tonight, but we'll see. I've only seen two ships so far. That's the update. It's pretty rough out here. I think I finally have a spot where Mako won't get wet, but we're getting soaked every five seconds, it feels like. Have my gear on for tonight, layer one, and then I'll come. Layer two on later. Four miles to the port, sun is hot. Mako. That was rough, wasn't it? Hi. <laughs> We made it, um, dropped anchor about an hour and a half ago. <sighs> My body is dead. I just ate first hot meal in three days. So I'm gonna show you guys what happened with the hatch. This little piece, but on this side, literally cracked in half. So that sucks, but I rinsed everything and am drying everything upstairs. I'm waiting to hear back on from the to check Mako when I clear in. Happy to be here. Um, I will say that as I was sailing, I was coming up with backup plans and there was a way to get the hydrovane working. If that would have happened on a crossing that was longer, I could have made the hydrovane work with severe modifications to the davit and solar and all that. I could have destroyed everything they just did and made the hydrovane work. And also with this being said, I know I can't fix this autopilot, it's gone. And I do need an autopilot. The hydrovane is going to be amazing once I get it working in St. Martin. But I am gonna be spending a lot of money to put a new autopilot in. 